Good evening. A Saanich dog owner agreed to have his pet put to death today after it killed a puppy. The owner had been playing with his pit bull terrier in a Saanich park yesterday when it latched onto the six-month-old pup and refused to let go. Animal control officers used batons and pepper spray. Horrified onlookers tried to help with a baseball bat and with bear spray. Finally, the pit bull let go. But the puppy was dead. Saanich police were looking to have the pit bull destroyed, and late this afternoon, the owner agreed. Eric Thompson reports. This is where Jamie Scott's six month old hound collapsed after being viciously attacked by another dog. It could have easily have been a kid picking up a tennis ball, and uh, there's no way three grown men could pull that dog off. Scott says he was training his dog at this Saanich park yesterday when a man arrived with a pit bull. The situation quickly turned violent. He threw a ball for his dog. His dog went after it, brought it back. Um, I took my dog off a leash after he told me it was okay again. The dog, my dog grabbed his dog's tennis ball. The other owner's pit bull just let loose on my dog. It, my six-month-old puppy um, just grabbed it by its, its chest, wouldn't let go, to the point where the owner had no control over it, no, no leash, no collar, nothing. And uh, he just laid on top of it, telling it to get off, and we couldn't get it off. Scott says he started kicking the pit bull in the nose to distract it. Then a nearby homeowner ran over with a baseball bat. Like we were in a, in a fight for the dog's life for about 10 minutes straight. But uh, I just heard that the poor little guy didn't make it, which is too bad. Pat Jackson says he proceeded to kick the pit bull with steel toe boots while the puppy yelped in pain. But still, the pit bull wouldn't release the younger dog. Another witness, an elderly woman who didn't want to appear on camera, says she is haunted by what she witnessed. It's, it's disgusting. It's the most horrible, disgusting display of cruelty and nature. Eventually, Scott says he handed the baseball bat to the pit bull's owner, who repeatedly hit his dog over the head. Then animal control officers arrived and used batons and pepper spray. That's when Scott called his father, who lives nearby. He was preparing for a fishing trip and happened to have bear spray with him. I used the full can on him, and, um, you know, that stops bears. It, it barely got him to release. By then, he already pretty well tore the dog's leg off, so pretty bad. It limped over here to the other side of the van, which was here, where it collapsed, uh, right here, as you can see, which then the pit bull came around the side of the van, where I managed to get in between because it was trying to come back at my puppy. The pit bull was eventually muzzled and taken away by animal control officers. It has since been destroyed with the owner's consent. Police and animal control officers are interviewing witnesses. There is no word on any possible charges. Eric Thompson, A News.